Hey guys, welcome back to another video, and today, again, manga and comic book haul. Again, got two, two mangas from the same video game store, and I also got some comic books. The video game that I got this time, uh, I still don't have it. I When I go out and I get these, normally, uh, when I don't get them online, uh, I normally get, um, like, a video game with it because I also collect video games because I collect three things manga comic books and video games also I I kind of put graphic novels with comic books so you could basically say Japanese comic books manga and uh American comic books graphic novels and you know normal comic books and then also video games but anyway, uh, when I go to that one video game store, normally I get two things of manga because actually they have a lot of stuff that I'm manga that I either want to get or like I am currently like reading or whatever. Most of them are stuff I want to get though. So I always normally get two from there. So that's what I did. But anyway, I'm going to go into first the manga, then the graphic novel. And then the comic books that I already read because I kind of forgot to make this video and I kind of dig them out from my box because I have like, you know, stuff separated so it's kind of hard to find. And then, you know, the stuff that I haven't read yet, which I haven't actually read a lot, surprisingly, even though it's, you know, a few days after. But anyway, let me just get right into the manga. First is actually something that I currently started reading. Dora Hedora. I saw the anime and I loved the anime. It was it was really good. Would recommend it to you know anyone really. Uh, there's like magic, po like post apocalyptic lizard head dude. It got everything and it's great. And I really enjoy it. Enjoy it. It's very gory. Um, and like you know, I guess you could say kind of adult because it literally says ex uh, parental advisory explicit content on it. But, you know, whatever. I still read it and watch it anyway. It's the first one. Um, because, like I said, they have a lot of stuff that I want to start. Because the problem is with places where you get manga, like Bam and Barnes and & Noble. Um, they normally have other ones. And it's hard to find number ones. But they have a, a lot of number ones there. And none of anything else. Because they're one of the places where if somebody trades in their number one, they just put it up for sale or like a number two you know anyway the next manga is Komi can't communicate uh, i'm pretty sure this is like a romance comedy manga where basically i think the girl like can't communicate so she writes it on like a chalkboard and then you know it leads to funny situations i don't really know because i haven't started reading and the anime hasn't came out yet because it's coming out this year in fall so I am going to check it out because I, everybody says this is great and, uh, you know, you should read it. So I'm reading it. Okay, now on to the graphic novel, the one that I got, and then the comic books. The graphic novel I got is Batman. Well, no, The Batman Who Laughs. Uh, it actually looks really cool. Um, it says from the pages of Dark Knight's Metal, but, you know... I'm excited to read it. I have wanted to pick up this for, you know, a good amount of time. He was an interesting character, and he was always, like, a villain to, like, everything for a time. Even though I didn't know, like, a whole bunch about him. But, honestly, he seemed pretty cool. So, I'm excited to read it. And it seems like a dark story. So, you know, pretty interesting. Next is the comic book that I've already read. So, yeah. Um, let's start off with just this one. Because I had it in the last one. This, they gave me another one. Uh, free comic book day. Spider-Man. So, yeah. Honestly, I actually finally read it. And, you know, it was, you know, free. I guess it was just Spider-Man, Black Cat, Take Down the Vulture. And I know that was a Venom story. But honestly, it was literally just like a preview, like an ad, and it was kind of boring. So I kind of just read the Spider-Man one. I was like, cool, you know, whatever. Uh, then the next one is, again, this is on collecting Heroes Reborn, number three. Number one and number two were great. So this is actually the first one I actually read 
out of all of them because I'm really much enjoying Heroes Reborn. I think it's interesting and it's good for me because someone who, even when I used to read comic books when I was little or more, my dad bought them and then read them to me when I was little. Most of them, it was really only Deadpool that I read or it got read to me. When I say I got read when I was younger, it was mostly my dad reading to me. Most of it was like DC except for Deadpool, but this is interesting and it's good because even if I don't really know much about it, I can kind of just hop in and like read and not just start halfway through. Next is a tie-in, Hyperion and, Hyperion and the Imperial Guard. It was interesting, it was a uh, prequel or whatever, and it was kind of sad though, like what happened to them. But it was pretty interesting, and I enjoyed it. I heard somebody online say that all the tie-ins normally aren't that interesting. But I liked reading it. So, yeah, I would recommend it. Even though it's a tie-in, and you really don't need to read it at all. But I would recommend it. If you just want to read a quick, good story, you could literally read this without reading any of the Heroes Reborn. And just enjoy it, because it's just a one-shot, basically in the Heroes Reborn universe. So yeah, next is on to all DC, because I already read all the Marvel ones, um, and I haven't read any of these. So yeah. And instead of re reading these, I'm making a video on how much I want to read them and how much when I got them, you know? But whatever. <clears throat> First one, Legends of the Dark Knight, number one. Honestly, I don't really know much about this. I just saw... You know, classic Mr. Freeze, classic Penguin, and classic Joker. And I was like, sick. Need to pick it up. <laughs> um, I uh, I saw, it like, an ad for it in one of the books, and I was like, of course, this looks cool. So, yeah, I don't really know anything about it, but I'm excited to see what it is. Next is a four-part series, and I bought all four parts of it. They're actually kind of expensive. So you got Batman, uh, the, yeah, the next Batman, number one, the next Batman, number two, the next Batman, number three, and the next Batman, number four. So, yeah, uh, again, haven't read any of these, but they all seem pretty interesting. They're part of the Future State. For Future State, I only read Gotham and the two Teen Titans ones, but I really enjoyed the Teen Titans ones, and Gotham was cool. Um, I'm excited for if the next one comes out. So yeah, I'm excited to read these. I really want to get Dark Detective more than anything, but I'm still excited to read these. Uh, okay, next is Nightwing 80. So the weird thing about uh, Nightwing comic books is i cannot find one uh, well i can't find 78 and 79 anywhere because either they're out of stock or it's the variant cover that's like 70 dollars and it's annoying and i can't find it at any comic book stores on amazon on midtown comics on things from another world cannot find it but I've watched a variant video, right? So I'm probably just going to read this and then hope to get the other ones later and just keep going on from there. Um, I wish I was able to read and, like, see the whole thing. But I will probably get the other ones because I really want the full series. Because Nightwing is, like, my third favorite superhero of Marvel and DC combined uh, behind Deadpool and Batman. So, I mean... Yeah, I'm excited to, you know, read it and see what's going on with Nightwing. Okay. Next is three. New Infinite Frontier. Oh, you can probably see it. Okay. Well, it's Wonder Woman 770, 771, and 772. So... It was either this or Catwoman, and I was really like, I'm gonna get Catwoman, but then I was like, you know what, I like history, right? So, Wonder Woman's cool, and she has superpowers, plus, uh, it's, she's like, 
switched from, like, Greek to, like, Viking or whatever to, uh, Norse mythology, it seemed like. And I don't really know what's going on, but it seemed pretty interesting. Uh, yeah, Vex by the Vikings of Valhalla, and then, like, you know, she has, like, you know, the little squirrel or whatever. I don't really know what's going on, but I like Greek mythology, and I like Norse mythology, so it seemed pretty interesting to me. So, I got the first three that are out. Next, the final one is Justice League 61. Okay, so the thing, right, about Justice League is I'm very much enjoying it. I don't know anything about Naomi, but she seems really cool. Black Adam is, like, one of my favorite characters in the whole thing. Uh, I like all, like, the original Justice League in it, so I really enjoy it. And in my opinion, like, the three of the best Infinite Frontier comic books out now are Justice League, Teen Titans, and Suicide Squad, which are all the team stuff, because I like to see the interactions between the characters and their different relationships. So Justice League, them all being close friends, Sorry, something happened there. What I was saying was, Justice League, them all being close friends, but them not trusting Black Adam being part of the team. Suicide Squad, them not liking each other, but them having to be forced to work with each other. I think it's really interesting and in what they do. And then Teen Titans, it's, uh, you know, them working together as teachers, teaching the new generation, and some of the kids liking them, some of the kids being mysterious, you know. I really enjoy all the different storylines, and it ended kind of off a cliffhanger on 60. So... I'm very much enjoying all the team comic books, as well as the individual ones, like Batman was awesome, man. Like, Batman is, like, one of my favorite things. Teen Titans uh, is, like, my favorite, but, you know. Anyway, hope you liked the video. Make sure to like and subscribe. See you on the next one. Goodbye.